Good morning, good morning, and good morning. We've got to say it three times this morning because today is just a magnificent day. I almost said it, holding our word for a little while. You know, good morning to you all and greetings and welcome to the beautiful, beautiful island of Barbados. And I have a lovely report today. That's the sargassum is almost gone. So, well, in this area, and that is for now. So we'll see what happens anyhow. We can give blessings for today because it's today that matters. If you all like the sounds that you all are hearing now, I have a treat for you. Came on the beach rail earlier this morning before anybody was here and actually captured the sun rising, well, not rising, but the daybreak itself. So hopefully, if everything goes well, and I check it later on, the conditions are good, well, we'll most definitely bring that to you. All right, we're just on the beachfront area of Sapphire, Sapphire itself. So anybody that knows Sapphire, you know exactly where we are. And for the ones that have been here for a long time, this was Marisol, or still is Marisol, but behind was the best of Barbados shop, and that is now called the Turtle Nest. So real, real nice place here. Marisol is one of the first hotels I ever remember in this area, and that was a long, long time ago when it used to belong to the Morgans. Beautiful, beautiful day. Just stunning scenery today, magnificent. You know, good morning to each and every one of you all. And before we start our walk, we're going to do our serenity prayers. We like to pray for peace from early in our, in our vlogs. So here we go. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful day. I know this is a favorite for a lot of you guys, so I'm going to do a down, and I'm going to then do a back up again. This morning I was checking the webcam out here and I was actually super impressed with all of the turtle friendly lights that have been installed on this beach um, in both directions, in the, on camera one and camera two. Just beautiful. It was just stunning. And for any of you all who like to just um, tag up Carlo, we do have some tracks directly in front of the bar at Southern Palms Hotel. Uh, we'll see that in a few minutes time, but we're going to take our stroll down here. Beautiful, beautiful conditions. Seen a couple of turtle heads this morning, believe it or not. Don't know if you'll catch any on the video, but I did see some earlier on as I was walking up and down the beach while the sound video was um, being recorded. Just beautiful, beautiful conditions for sure. Look at the glass on this water and check the reflections. There's almost like a almost like a west coast appearance there right now. A little bit rougher than the west on the waves that hit the shoreline, but for sure the conditions are glassed off. And we're gonna have a swim out here today. That goes without saying. Just check this sky, folks, as heavenly as possible. All right, just a little history for you guys. You may not be aware. Um, where is now Sapphire Beach originally was Cable and Wireless in Barbados in the war time, as the Second World War. And after that became the Dover Convention Center, where they used to have very big conference areas there as well. And then it lay dormant for a long time until Sapphire came along and built. So it's been an enhancement here for sure um, to this beach. Sapphire is an, a really attractive, attractive complex, as you can see. Um, I haven't been in the rooms, I can't tell you much about them, but I've heard everyone tell me how wonderful they are. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning. So as we are going hiking tomorrow, uh, I said that we would definitely be doing a beach today. And it just so happens that I am actually bare bones. So the people that are appealing for a swim, 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 you can get an early one today. Water is beautiful. I mean, just lovely. There is a little bit of sargassum. I can see in the shore break here. It's a little bit offshore itself, but that is going to move. The water is back to its blues again, which is stunning. Sea life around here is beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Remember, this is part one. So we can do another one later on, but I see some people are begging to hit some sea water. So you know me, always aiming to please wherever I can. Just a stunning day here. There you go, starting it. From here on, the count will be heavy, I'm sure, because all I'm seeing is beauty all around me. I'm gonna give you a silent 360 to start off this morning. Get ready for it, hold your breath. Let's see if we can make it the whole way around. Here we go.
Okay, somebody please give me a round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've completed that one successfully and we're going to do some walking now. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning. I see people talking about how lovely the sea is and how the birds sound and how the waves are sounding. Trust me, if this video from this morning comes out, it will be one of our most relaxing and soothing videos as of yet. You know, I don't want to say too much more than that because yes, I thought we'd be good, but the sea was so calm up on Bell Point that we could not even hear the sea. I had, <laughs> I had a video that went for 10 minutes and I, you could barely sense the sea. So it didn't make any sense if putting a hat. We will do that on a day when it's rough next time because I want you to see the pounding power of the east side of the island. Incidentally, there's a system that they're monitoring, not, uh, not projected to come through here. It's um, supposed to go north of here. But the plot that I see it going on, or the trap that I see it following, is looking as though we're going to get some huge waves off of it. And therefore, we will get the coverage we've been looking for for a while. So we'll be back up on the east coast again real soon. Tomorrow, uh, our hycologist has decided he wants me to suffer. And he saved me back to the parish of St. Thomas and to St. Andrew. We'll be doing the, I think it's the Turner's Hall route, uh, circle route. I will put that up later on. Again, whether conditions would affect that because that, you really can't do out there when it's too wet. But I'll put that up later on and let you all know if you're going for sure and exactly where it is. So you can prepare yourselves, get your cameras all charged up and get your hiking gear, have a sacks, water bottles, etc, etc, etc. And Trisha, I'm sorry. But the bus driver is going to be working real hard tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> that's if all goes as planned. You know, we brought to today. Let's stay within the actual time you're in, the present. Beautiful day. Look at this beach, man. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm just going to do a little bit of, of quiet walking for you and show you some of the and stuff so I don't put the camera on anyone. Just look at the sun coming through these trees. How beautiful. And in the distance, you see it's beginning to blend in. Now they'll put some colors on it. That's the expansion of the ocean too. Just lovely. Good morning, my friend. How are you going? Yeah, another wave from a friendly. Everybody remembers this gentleman here. All's well? Yeah, my, everybody hails you up, huh? Everybody hailing you, buddy. Respect, man. Nice, man. So you see the work uh, starts real early here for the guys that work at the beach, that's for sure. Um, this morning I saw these three gentlemen on this deck here in front of Infinity on the beach. And they have been there all morning just relaxing and talking about the beautiful day breaking. So you will be seeing what they're seeing. And imagine, they've sat here. I saw them when they first came down here. Well, about 10 minutes after they came here. I got here about quarter past five. And uh, I saw them just a little bit after that. Just beautiful conditions and scenery. I actually love this time of morning because on a morning like this here, we don't get too many people on the beach. You don't get any umbrellas or beach chairs. So you're able to see the beautiful raw Barbados as it is. No distractions. Nothing at all. What's up, man? Just stunning. Morning, gents. Yeah, everybody here having a wonderful time. Beautiful, beautiful day. Now, if you all remember, we've talked about out here so many times. We've done a history on out here so many times. But if you all were not aware, these be this beach here is a new beach. I will consider this a new beach because when I was like around 16 or so, there was no beach here whatsoever. There was a little slither beach that ran in front of this um, Southern Palms wall and at high tide in front of that section that comes out a little bit there as you see just behind the beach chairs. That used to be where the water would come up and hit. They had really no beach here at all at high tide. Uh, and, uh, they had big supporting blocks that were in front of infinity where those gentlemen are sitting now and what used to actually hit up there in the morning anytime they had a big south coast swell you could not walk this beach without getting wet that's for sure things have changed tremendously with the dropping of the groin you're seeing in the distance there now always been a crowd favorite even from the days when there was hardly any beach here i remember when penny which is charles water sports used to have quite a few catamarans and we used to have a fishing boat Going back in time now, people, so get your memory on. You used to have a fishing boat that was moored just off of here, like in the center of the camera. Quite a ways off, though, in the darker blue. And we used to monitor that for the big, big surf that used to come down. We used to watch the guys start, used to start at Salt Ash and White Sands and work its way right down here into the intersection here, which is Bunny Dundee. That's what we call it here. People refer to it as Dover, but the original surfing name was Bunny Dundee. 
So the palms have changed a lot over the years. One thing has remained is, is they have their band stand there. And you'll see quite different in the older days, as you would remember. It was slightly elevated and it had a thatch, a thatch top. And every Sunday, we used to come down here and listen to the guys playing steel pan and stuff. And that was the day of entertainment on this beach. I did mention before in the past, between the age of 17 and my very early 20s, I lived here seven days a week. Not six, seven, open every day. Just beautiful. Check the sun coming up, people. I gotta treat you to that. Just can't treat you to what's in front of us. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach. Now don't get fooled by out here. People who have been here before know that when there's a big south swell, and you're talking usually in the time frame of February, March, April, um, that's when you really get the more consistent ones. Uh, out here is a totally different beach. It becomes very dangerous to swim in if there's a swell running. Um, you will find flags all over the beach here, and trust me, if you are uh, going to the water and anywhere that's a red flag, you will hear whistles going off because the lifeguards out here know what this place is like. So if you come here and you see here wild and got a lot of currents and some guys surfing, don't think it's a sweet place to go and swim if you are now learning. Just be wary of what you do. Just like any of the oceans here in Barbados, they turn from the most peaceful and beautiful places to some of the most deadly places you can imagine. Just lovely. Just beautiful scenery out here this morning. All right, I'm gonna um, just tell you where we were this morning when we did our sound video so you can get a, an idea of it. And if it doesn't come out, you still saw where it was. <laughs> That was a good thing for me. All right, look for this beautiful bank in here. Just lovely out here, though. Look at the coconut trees. These are, these are a relatively new addition here. I mean, people will come down here and say, wow, these trees have been here for years. No, these have not been here for years. Uh, maybe, I would say possibly maybe 10 years at the most, uh, they started to grow. We would have seen them coming around that time. Again, that is just a loose and wild guess. I'm um, just trying to figure back when it was. But time passes so fast. I mean, today is Friday. feels like Tuesday to me. You know, so maybe a little bit longer, 10 years, but not too much more than that. We're looking around to blind in sky, so everybody, I have your darker makers, shades on. did warn you serious sunshine this morning all right this is where we were this morning when we did our sound video this is the, the exact spot so you're going to be watching the sun before it even starts to show really coming up bit by bit so hopefully that will go well because i'm sure that will put you to sleep tonight if you were looking to do that just a fantastic beach i know how many thousands of people have been here i know i know that many of you that are on here i'm watching I'm watching the comments you know i remember this i remember when it had no beach i'm watching all the comments as well so I know how many of you all like here. This is definitely one of the crowd favorites on the South Coast Island. I know the other one that will probably rival here would be Accra, but the best to me, the world's best beach anyhow, is Sandy Beach and Worthing for sure. But uh, you know, they're small beaches. This is a massive beach. This is probably the biggest of them all. I would say even bigger than Miami Beach. It looks longer to my than Miami Beach for sure. And it's most definitely as deep as Miami Beach now. I, people, well, I should say Enterprise because let me get let me get specific here. The above beach they call Enterprise, the below beach they call Miami, but I call it all Miami Beach. Right through. Now, originally, South Winds was very very big here, DB South Winds, and this was their beach property. It's still the beach property for them, um, but they used to actually have accommodations down here as well. But as you can see from here, right up is the beautiful salmon color that everybody loves. And just so you see, we have been down here this morning and we have been spreading our name. There we go. Don't remember all the time, but I put two of them on the beach this morning just to make sure that somebody knows that EMC was here for sure. 
You're going to walk to the very end and talk a little bit more. Um, yeah, they used to have beach facilities down here for South Winds. Uh, over on the left-hand side, you can still see the old structures there, but there were a lot more out here as well. But they have been dismantled over the years. I don't know if they're actually going to continue with the beach facility. I noticed um, all the area that's been sort of like decorated off with a mesh in, so you don't see the construction thing that's going on. So I'm not sure what is going on behind there. But I know there is a, bar, a pool just right there in the point that you to facilitate the guests that were staying in this area. It's just beautiful. This is definitely a heaven for sure. This is one of the places in Barbados that holds my heart without a doubt. I have so many years out here at this beach. It is amazing. All right, more turtle traps and definitely digging. You can see them going up and then coming back down. You can also see the digging area behind. So if you haven't tagged yet, please tag off Carla for me. There's also some more up in front of the bandstand at Southern Palms as well. Miss that in our walk, but don't mind. Good morning. We have 70 of you in at present. Good morning to 71 of you. Great to have you on board this morning. Great to be sharing Barbados' beauty with you. Great to be sharing this room that belongs to God. This is called the room at Dover. Dover room itself. Just beautiful out here. All right, now sea conditions, you normally can't swim down here, as you would know. Um, when I say that, not normally, but most of the time down here is a little bit too, too wild for swimming, um, especially when there's a surf, but this morning is perfect and it's very glassy. But remember, we're gonna have some serious glare and sunshine, so you all know what to do. Darker makers in hand, onto face, please. Here we go. It's beautiful this morning. How could I not come in this sea twice? <laughs> this is like the west coast has moved to the south coast today, to be honest with you. Ooh, it gets deep real quick. We swim back in fast. Ooh, yeah, that's down to net. <laughs> oh, look at these. Just look at these clouds, people. All right, so look, I'm supposed to do it silent, but if I break out, y'all will know that I can't resist it. So let me try it, though. Let me start from... We start from scratch with these beautiful clouds, this amazing glare and reflection that's coming off, and just the brilliant sunshine. I can see all that in the beginning, and hopefully I'll be able to make myself 360, so here we go. And I'm becoming a 360 specialist here. Proper. <laughs> yeah, lots of glare. I don't even look at the screen when I'm doing a 360 anymore because if I look at the screen, somebody is trying to make me laugh or say something. So I'm sort of like look the opposite way. So if you see any jolting or you're seeing things that you should not be seeing in a 360, don't blame me. I have to I have to use the amendment, fifth amendment on this one here. So I'm done with that. Just beautiful. Now, last time we came down here, there was no beach whatsoever to the east of Ross Trevor Hotel. Now, years ago, as you all would know, there's a little, not a cave, but it's sort of like a little cave in the rocks that used to walk underneath over there on the beach itself. Um, I'm not sure if it's still there. It's on the restaurant now. Maybe they've utilized it for the foundation of the restaurant that's there. But um, you just have a look at the beach now. There was no sand here the last time we visited. But as uh, those years ago would remember, it was a lovely beach just on the above side of Ross Trevor here. Beautiful. The property just after this uh, construction area is up for sale. Um, I know that if you have a couple of cents in your mattress, that's another property you can purchase. So I've shown you two this week, one in the West Coast and one in the South Coast. If you have any loose change laying around, you would know you have some ideal locations to purchase. <laughs> 
360 specialist. Man, I, I so glad you don't look at this screen when I'm doing what I'm doing, huh? If I did, I, I would be in bare trouble. It's just beautiful. We've had an amazing week this week, this week people, just because we've had in the past. Now, if all plans go tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a little suffering because that, that hycologist, I no longer call him Monk Tingo. He, he has graduated. He is now the hycologist, the official hycologist for EMC. That is a big, big position for him to be filling. Let me tell you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Over here is just stunning. Now, not much beaches on these hotels going on here, but the decks that they have um, are just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And if you want, and you're saying it also tells cheese on five minutes walk, seven minutes walk, and you are at this. I don't think you can want anything more beautiful than that. I certainly can't. If I asked for anything more beautiful than that, I, I, would, I wouldn't be appreciating what this actually is. That's for sure. This is a magnificent, magnificent beach. I'm going to use it. Stunning beach, without a doubt. All right, we're going to walk back in that direction. I'm going to stay a little close to the trees or the tree line. Um, so that we can get away from some of that glaring sun. I want you to be able to at least see something. So I'm going to try and keep you in the shadows a little bit. But I want you to see this beach going back in this direction. We have a couple more minutes so we can enjoy this as well. I would like to thank each and every one of you all for being here. You know, it, you know I know the journey that I'm on. And this journey had started anyhow. But to be honest with you all, it is wonderful to have the companionship and the, the kinship and the love that I'm having every day with you guys. I mean, every day you all are inspiring me to come out here and see different parts of this island. Places that I have not seen for 20, 30 years, even 40 years, uh, I'm going to right now. And that is just amazing. But to tell you what, how time flies, the last time we were here was very early in um, July when I had that uh, storm hurricane that passed here. And we came down the day before and we did a walk from here down to um, Carib area, down to Worthen. And then we came on the day after and showed you what the effects of the storm were on the beach itself. However, prior to that, we had not been down here since April. That will tell you how time flies. Dover Beach, since April. Now, we've done all of the West Coast. We've done all the South Coast. We've done quite a few of the places numerous times. But every time you come, you see something different. I am seeing different hearings here. I, I, the last time we really did this beach, as I said, was back in April. So you would understand that, you know, it changes. And time flies, without a doubt. I mean, who would have, in my early days, I would have been on the South Coast every day. I haven't been on the South Coast, I think, for over, over a week and a half now, maybe even two weeks. I mean, to do a comprehensive walk on it, for sure. Just beautiful. You all have encouraged me to come out here and it, experience this beauty and bring it to you which has been the best thing that's ever happened the formation of the emc has just been all ha has all happened through god given events for me and you all have joined it and we made a massive thing in the beginning it was just the emc without any direction we know well for well now but we now have the direction where we're going we know what we're about everybody knows who everybody is there's a massive friendship in here Every day we have new members that are joining, um, you know, that come on to EMC Lives with us and have an understanding of what we do and why we're all drawn to this. Because it's a place you can find love, happiness, freedom, a place of serenity. And that's what we do. That's what we offer every day. And it goes on and on. You know, yesterday it was a, a good six hours on comments to me, but I, was just, I, couldn't come, I couldn't come off of them because... You know, everyone is just expressing love and appreciation for what they're seeing. And that is magic for my ears. I just want to get a little bit out of this sun. I'll give you another, another part of a 360. We can do another swim. We're going to break all records today and do three swims.
Now look, I got these 360s so perfected clockwise, anti-clockwise. Multiple ones, no difference whatsoever. All right, we're gonna go in uh, just, I would say about here, maybe just so we don't go up into the crowd where the camera is. Let's take a dip about midway up. There are some swells coming through here because you can appreciate it. This is the actual sandbar itself, so we're gonna be doing a little bobbing up and down. But I want you to experience the ocean again this morning before we go from here, for sure. Don't worry, I have on my armbands and I have on my flotation belt, so I'm good. I ain't got no problems at all. <laughs> so, turtle, hold on if you saw the head just now. The little head just popped up just there in the second wave out. They are popping up all around the place this morning. A lot of turtles in this section here, a lot more than I used to see before for sure. Just lovely. All right, we can do a final 360, people. Yes, believe it or not. I lost count. I give up. I don't even know how many 360s we've done today. But this one, we are definitely going to do in an anti-clockwise. So get ready. Here we go. All of my raving success this morning, go home and have myself a tonic water with a twist of lime. Heavy duty stuff, ce celebration time for me for sure. Beautiful, just lovely. Now the eyesore that was there before, I have to say eyesore because I, I don't like to get too expressive on these vlogs because I don't want anybody to be upset, but I have to speak my mind. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, a structure that height has no right in St. Lawrence Gap. That's my opinion. However, with that being said, they have blended it in beautifully with the colors and stuff. So. Uh, you know, it's here, there's nothing we can do about it. At least it looks better than it was looking for sure. Just lovely. I mean, look, look at the gap, it's just stunning. Anyway, folks, that is our morning. I'm gonna um, just tell you that I would like you please to go forward with the peace and love that you're feeling right now, because I know you're feeling it, without a doubt. And if you're feeling all stressed out later on, oh, hold on, Zach, let's welcome some visitors to the island. Here we go. Are you on that plane? If you're on that plane, please message me when you get here to Barbados and let me greet you. This is not something that we have seen all the time. I'm not sure if that is cargo or what that is. I can't really make it out from here. But what I can say is that I know there's someone flying it. So if you're still on that aircraft, you give me a shout when you land, please. I am me. Just great. Okay, so we're saying, <laughs> getting back to our talk now. Uh, yes, peace and quiet today was beautiful. You have serenity that you can carry with you. If you're having stress today, you have 550 plus videos or vlogs that you can go up on YouTube and look at. You have no problems with that. You have ones that are in aggressive areas, ones that are in rugged areas, ones that are in calm, pristine areas. You also have a lot of sound files as well if you want to just sit back. Shut your eyes, put on one of those. I'm gonna put up another one today as well for you. If that all goes well, I will more than likely put that one in full 4K because out here it was so beautiful this morning. I want to offer you the best that I can. Anyway, you all have a fantastic day, everyone. And until tomorrow, do the best that you can do. Be the best person you can possibly be and follow that light. That light will not lead you wrong. Whatever light it is you follow, you follow it today, please. Anyway, take care. All my blessings from Barbados. Everyone knows, but I'm going to tell you anyhow. I am the Beja Warrior. It's a warrior for peace, love, kindness, and care. And I will see you all later on. Have a fantastic day.